Thank you very much at the time and um, just so that you are politically correct and you are in sync with everything that's going to happen because in some places if you are not appropriately dressed actually having after state them um, stating the dress code you will not be per you will not be permitted to gain entrance and all that but most importantly also dress code has to do a lot with the culture and the religion so let's take an example of um, the Bedouins for example they live in the desert yeah. and um, if you look at the whole Arabian Peninsula and all that you discover that there's a certain way the sheiks and the sheiks dress it's free flowing, it's white and um, all that it has to do with the, their culture but it also has to do with the weather there because if you forget and um, you go and get all tied up in your tie and suit and you discover that um, you'll not be able to efficient and you'll not be able to think, you'll not be able to work and after a while your health will actually be in danger. Mm -hmm. So and um, the women are all dressed up, they're all like wrapped up. <laughs> they're all, they're all, they're all wrapped up. Okay, like, like, I really feel like I'm receiving a lecture. I remember before we head off to Morocco, you know, there are some people that are like, you know, they're actually Arabs but yeah. they don't consider themselves Africans. Yeah. They're like, so everyone like the ladies that are going, don't you guys want to take like a scarf or you know, like, no, it's not that bad, you know, mm -hmm. even though it is a cultural thing where, yes, as Arabs, they dress like that, mm -hmm. but like Shay said, it's also about religion. location and religion. Yeah. yeah, but talking about, you know, dress codes and, um, you know, cultures and things like that, you know, at what point is it okay for you to go into a society and say, yes, I know you guys are Englishmen and I know you're dressing suits, but I don't care, I want to wear my agbada morning, day and night. There are certain people that do that, but I think it's just a personal opinion. And they, I don't think there's a point where it is acceptable because, I mean... Kelechi was making a point before we came into the studio, you know, she was saying that um, it's really about your perception, yeah. your attitude and yeah. your confidence. So, yeah, yeah, I was saying that... Um, in with respect to what um, Taiwo said, people have a right to dress the way they, they, want, to they want to be addressed that's the truth mm -hmm. and you you can't you can't take away that right from someone especially when the person's in a society that there's no hard and fast truth as to how to dress mm -hmm. do you understand you're in lagos mm -hmm. for instance and th th this is not uh it's not um, a um, what an islamic state mm -hmm. it's not a christian state mm -hmm. you know do you understand so you mm -hmm. can and it's, 
freedom to yeah, express free to, yourself. Yeah, free to yeah. dress whichever way you dress. So if a person is walking on the way on the road of Lagos and mm -hmm. she's wearing, for instance, the lady's wearing um, a bomb shirt mm -hmm. and, and a, a crop top mm -hmm. and she's walking down the road. I, I think I, I don't think um like it happens in some places in Lagos. I don't think that person should be harassed, harassed for yeah. dressing that way because they have you can look at her and say you don't like the way she dresses. But that's your opinion. She's dressed, mm -hmm. But it's your opinion. You don't have a right to force it on the person to dress the way you think the person should dress. Mm -hmm. Someone just brought up a concept, some, something called a mankey. Yeah, we're talking about it in my group. What is, <laughs> wait, let, let's start from the beginning. What is a mankini definition, it's a, please? It's a, it's a male version of, of a, a bikini. bikini. Okay, so what exactly does a mankini do? It's a what are, what are are like? her. <laughs> What is it covering? You can only see the description. But what's the back like it. though? Is back? it like a tongue? Of course it's going to be a string. For what now? You know, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I just need to know. <laughs> we'll get back on track. We so know, it's, a no, no. it's a string that covers. just has a patch that covers the front and then a string at the back. I don't. Come now. Why am I oh, no. describing this now? It's oh, horrible. No. <laughs> so, so, why do you wear that picture. too? To the beach now. To the beach. To the pool. I will so beach. not go to that beach. If I beach. organize a beach party, please don't come to my beach party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. think it's something that I've done to Nigeria yet, hopefully. But excuse me, that's part of the dress code, it's for the beach. Just exactly. like when you just come I'm still trying no, to get you to a tongue the... for guys. <laughs> and then you tell me, man, kid. Yeah. What do you call the tongue for guys? So, so, There's so, a name guys, for guys it. Oh yes! Uh, oh you guys God. don't know. <laughs> you know they are just strings for their tongues for guys. For guys. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's a patch in the front. So it's the same thing. And then it just you know it could either be. Google it. You can Google, Google the images if you are. No, the so, images are horrible. If you actually saw, if you actually saw, if you actually saw inclined. But anyway, we're talking about that dress code is in the bedroom. Yes. No. no. Yeah. We're actually so long as it's your guy, you can actually tell him that hey, hey you wear whatever you want. Your mankini stays inside the house. But when you go outside, you wear shorts. You wear swimming trunks. Normal swimming. Trunks, yes, but as a new discovery, as you're behind, yes, <laughs> your Kenichi has to stress so and come back <laughs> So, please, um, let's get back on track, yes, are, please. Because the new disc colony also have a dress code, yeah. they also have a dress code, yeah. and um, yes, there's certain there's certain amount of clothing here you should we should not be wearing actually when you're at the uh, nudist colony you just means um, you're wearing nothing yeah, yeah. well <laughs> and it's against the rules of flouting so if yeah. you're going to go there make sure you are you know, yeah because so like, if you know that you you, you can't you can't don't uh, go there don't go there i mean there are new beaches in barcelona new beaches and then i remember when we the other time we traveled and we're like oh yeah, just go to the nude beach. Like, you think you would actually wear something? <laughs> Wait, no, you I'm saying that. I'm saying that. When we go to the nude beach, what if we don't want to be nude? But you want to then, then don't the go there. Can't be there. Don't go. They let you in. Oh it's just like yeah. going to a swimming yeah. pool here. Yeah. Now you're, it's, it's, it's called a pool yeah, party. They will let you in. And then you show up and say uh, you cannot wear swimming pool. Oh, so what oh, are you what there, are there for? Go away. We are not there for dress the code. Is dress yeah. code is actually supposed to be a guide in what you should wear. Sometimes I see little children all dressed up as they are mini. Adults. You know when I see children, I'm like, oh, see little people. But then sometimes you're like, oh no, 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 because this is too they are, much. yes, it's too much. They put on wee bone, and you're not like, oh my goodness, how and old the, is this the child? Lipstick, yes, the yeah. lipstick. The lipstick. Yeah, oh, you're losing all like, the innocence. The innocence is gone, and all that. Fine, we want our children to look good and Cute. all that. But there's a certain line we shouldn't cross. We yeah. shouldn't try and live vicariously through our children, even though we do it. But you know. Should, should, them, let, let them, them you know, let them live, let yeah. them actually have a childhood, yeah. not yeah. the one that you're actually aging them before their time and all exactly. that. And please protect your children, whether male or yeah. female, yeah. with what you wear, with what you let them put on, and who mm -hmm. you let them associate with. Even exactly. though you know the Father Christmas of the area may seem, but please, with what is going on in society, mm -hmm. just take protect care of your children. We need I really, to protect our I, children. and I and I know that you know we, we discuss this outside the studio you know but i really do not especially because in this part of the world you know i'm i really I, i'm not i still cannot wrap my head around children wearing tubes <laughs> you know yes it's cute that but age. I, I just feel like and I, I think it's okay for a child to yeah. and that's what i'm saying yeah. we have different but yeah, I, I just yeah. feel yeah. like but you know that you know you that know, you'll be responsible you know, exactly so you have to be becomes, very responsible becomes, yeah. really scary when you actually have a child that you have to look out for i remember discussing with my husband I'm like okay dressing how would i do and then you know we see some children just you know walking down there and like 
did your mother let you out like that? Yeah. You know, and it's sometimes it's scary. And then I ask my husband, how do we get let this child know that oh, this is the appropriate way to dress? And mm -hmm. this, it, it all starts off with how me as a mother how you dress. dress her. Oh, how you yes, how I dress her up right, right now. Right this now. Is what she starts seeing as this is normal yes. and this is not normal. Thank so you. it's our responsibility. No, 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 the truth is that the truth is that there's a certain age where it's cute. As a child, but why would you not want to change it? No. Why would you want to change it when and you the child started out older, with it already? You start to adjust. You start to adjust. It says, why? It says, it says, you already it started exactly. me out with something. It's, it's, you started it's, it's, up with you. You started says, me up with alternate, exactly. and now you're telling me to change. Bring up no. a child the way she go and when you exactly. Do you, do you remember? Do you remember what you were wearing? It's not. Yes. When you were very well, have pictures. I'm here to be such ruffles and beautiful. Do you remember dressed up as a as a two year old? Do you remember? I think so. We would see Mickey pictures. Mouse. Really? No, apart from I mean, pictures, I'm though. I'm saying that the, the truth is that the child you can control. Can't let child you is remember. No, you I will remember. Know. You won't. So we all but as the child gets older, you start to introduce. So why no. are you doing why why you are you start? No, no, why are you exposing that body cute. part in the it's, first place? It's cute, but it's when you're a child. Every body part. It's innocent for the child, but it's not innocent for people who watch it. I remember posting a picture. I remember posting a picture of my daughter on my BB and she was really she was about maybe nine or ten months then and she all she had on was her diapers but it was so cute the way she stood that she was because she had she was dancing and all that and somebody sent me a message like, please take it what, down. exactly what is wrong with you and you know it, 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 i took a step back and like it's it's true even though it's something that it was just personal and um, in my space but we have to protect this children yes. it's very important that we, do we have to protect well on this on this issue of whether we are wearing tubes or not we have agreed to disagree here in this part of the world mm -hmm. whereby someone is getting married or someone has died and we all come together and we're like okay it would be nice to wear this actually yeah. well it started from the southwest you know, bars. Yeah, we, we love party now, hey, party loud loud yes hey. even if it's not loud loud it's not funny, <laughs> 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 funny. money is going money is going spend like, their money where's them it's not money that's not that <laughs> expensive but Mine, if you can't like if you can't can relate you can dress well at 5k a show it doesn't have to be 100 Take yes. notes, dress code. Well, it depends on you. It doesn't have to be 100 It depends on if you still look good. There's some people that have a uh, policy of they don't buy a shirt, you know, no matter who is getting yeah. married. Yeah. And then there's some people. I, me, I personally prefer to give you the money and buy a gift for them. Yeah, for yeah. the couple. Yes, because after a while it's you like... Um, yeah, yeah. But you know the dress code, the problem with the dress code of Ashore B is this. When you step into the wedding, everybody starts looking at you and you a show. As so, oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's part of the dress code and perception. To, it starts oh, to classify you. Yes, because if they say, oh, oh, this you are not a family one member. 100 and something K. Um, Ashwin, and this was the two K Ashwin. Yeah, oh, 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 you are not a close yes, friend no. of the family. Yeah. There is a degree of relationship. Yeah. Exactly. So the dress code of Ashwin, even as much as we yeah. love it in Nigeria, yeah. I just think it's so limiting yeah. because it's not fair on other people who decide not to want to wear. It shows the power of people. Well, pressure. yes, <laughs> but in that situation, you can actually bring your personality to bear and say, okay, fine. I am not going to. Yes, I'm, exactly. I'm not going to buy this one. I'm going to chill my friends. Yes. My, my but you know, it's an dress. unwritten. It's an unwritten law. You know, we said yeah. dress code. Sometimes yeah, it's, it's an unwritten law, law that you should come to that party with an usher and be. So if you're well, going to flout that law, it depends on your relationship with you whoever the person. You should be ready to come. And don't go and wear black. Or blood red for so someone's you wedding. Be. If you are not wearing the actual be because if you think that we chase you from you are wedding. a witch and you are not interested in the progress. Yes, and the happiness. So, and then if you are not wearing actual be, don't go and look finer than the bride or finer than the groom. See, and that, I think that's one of the minds behind actual be that okay, oh, all of you shall wear wear ten k yes. clothes. Let me divide the wear fifty k. Yes. That's not me that exactly. you not pay. You not be wearing hundred k clothes. Are you the mother and the bride? Let me wear fifty k clothes. So. We have come to the end of the program, unfortunately, time went, but oh we've all come to the conclusion of the fact that wow. there are some dress codes that are written, that mm -hmm. are plainly stated. Yeah. Yeah. The dress code has to do with culture, religion, yeah. and even the nature dictates what you should wear. We have the mankinis and we have the bikinis. The fact is that dress codes are sometimes written 
usually sometimes they are not but the thing is that we actually have to use a lot of sense like us on facebook yeah, follow us on twitter, twitter. girlfriend006 and um just let's continue the conversation there yeah. and in the meantime stay safe stay well and god bless bye have a great day